Hey y'all, welcome back to the DeBergerac channel. This is Jim, your humble host. I'm with my little big brother, Jeff. We're in Lakey, Texas today. We're gonna go over an example of why you should always make sure your contractor is the right one for the job. Okay, so as I was saying earlier, we're in Lakey, Texas. If these tarps weren't here, you'd be able to see the beautiful views that you get in the hill country. But this is the front porch of my house. Yes, I said my house, which I had contractors work on. This is going to be the third attempt to put a porch on the front of this house that doesn't leak. First attempt, the contractor ran away with the money, filed a judgment against him. Second attempt, a different contractor put a porch on that leaked and it leaked almost immediately after it was put on. And we can go over the details of that and why it did so, but it's five years later, you'll notice behind me, this is what happens when you hire the wrong contractor. This was a concrete slate tile deck that was put up here. 24 inch by 24 inch slate, had concrete underneath it. Like I said, it leaked almost immediately. It leaked around the poles. As a gentleman, I tried to discuss this with the contractor, get it fixed. I like to give everybody the benefit of the doubt because we're in the business as well. Well, this is what happens after five years of a poorly done job. Everything is completely deteriorated. It is leaking into the game room in the bottom of the house. Now the contractor put zip board on over the trusses, ran it out over the open decks on the sides, put a black film liner on it, everything basically being wrong about that. No waterproofing membrane, anything. Poured the concrete over it, put the slate on top. It's just been a problem. So. Jeff's out here to fix the problem, work with the other contractors. We're going to do a poured concrete over the top of this, and it's going to be stamped. So we're getting rid of the tile. The $6,000 worth of slate tile that's gone, 20 some thousand dollars of materials and labor and stuff for the second time around. So this is two times in the hill country with recommended contractors, but we got a really bad job. As I said, this was a problem from the beginning. If you come over here, I'll show you what we had on this. This was the slate that was put down. All the concrete's been jackhammered up. And this was the waterproofing membrane that was supposed to keep the water out. Now mind you, this has only been here for five years and we did run the jackhammer over the top of it so it did puncture more holes in it. But just the concept of pouring concrete on a lightweight membrane like this with an OSB underneath it, there's no way that membrane's not going to get punctured. That's why you need to put a rubberized membrane down over whatever your decking's going to be. And then you need to put your concrete in several more layers of waterproof membrane before you can even think about putting the tile on. They didn't do anything like that. They put this down, poured concrete on it, over the top of the rock concrete, they put the tiles on. A lot of them came up in one piece because it wasn't even properly bonded. So we got a couple of solutions and techniques of how to get this done, but the main thing you want to keep in mind, the main reason for this video is we're going to show you how poorly the work was done how easy it is to get taken advantage of if you're not on site actually watching what's going on. Now, there's some really reputable contractors out there that you can trust. We'd like to believe that we're one of them in our field. Let's take a look, show you what's going on, what's been done, and then we're gonna have another video of project as it goes along and how it gets completed and what it should look like when it's done. So when I first came out to inspect this job, it was leaking. It was only about a month after the job was completed I came out. We got a little light rainstorm. There was water going into what will be the game room downstairs. Most of it was coming from right around these posts. Water would get on against the post and go down. The tiles were just set this way. So I initially thought it was a you know an improper just against the post. Maybe that's where it was leaking from. And so they went in and put this, cut the tile away and put these down in. Concrete was quite a bit higher and everything was brought it up to this point. So this was their first fix to fixing it. And they put the liquid membrane underneath it, which never cured, which at the point, I think that was two years ago, I was talking to Isaac and I told him, I said, look, when this liquid membrane doesn't work, we're gonna have to fix the porch right. This was after several conversations. Never ended up working and we're back here fixing it. So they came up with this idea to put liquid membrane in there. That didn't work. Because the leak wasn't only in the, only around the posts. It was in different spots in the concrete. This is the liquid membrane that went underneath, so you see it went all the way into the concrete. So there was a layer of concrete over here, and when the liquid membrane went in, it went all the way to this board. So you know that the that plastic membrane that I was showing you earlier, that didn't work worth a crap. And there's no, basically, overhang 
So, contractor blamed it that we didn't have an engineer, this and that. This is before we pulled the tile up. Isaac's like, well, we should have had an engineer for the job, drawings, all this stuff. We keep million dollar boats floating, and we don't need an engineer to know how to keep water out. Don't tell me that you need an engineer to keep the deck out when you don't to use any of the right products, you don't seal anything, you don't do anything correctly. It's just a big bowl that caught water the way it was laid out and designed and done. I'm not a home contractor, as you know, I'm a yuck contractor. But come on, man, this isn't rocket science. Water can only get in if you have a place for it to get to. This is why we've been in business for a lot of years, have an awesome customer base, because we don't do crap like this. But we will get it fixed. All right, y'all. I gotta catch a plane back to Florida, make some more money, because right here is what I'm putting all my hard earned money into. All the rest of the garbage that isn't it's still up there is gotta come down here, go into this bad boy. Make sure you hire the right contractor. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, send us your comments, let me know what you think. I might have a smart ass comment for you. Talk to y'all later.